Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here. I'm sitting next to my brand new Pixma Pro 10. I have not opened it yet. I just want to keep you guys up to date. I went to the doctor yesterday and had my tests done. A couple of tests. I did some blood work and uh, then I did my ultrasound for my liver. and a CT scan for my kidney and yes I do have a cyst it's nothing serious it does uh, produce some pain that I've been having uh, rather chronic pain on my right side in the kidney area but you know there's really nothing they can do about that it's just going to be followed and make sure that it doesn't get any larger than it is at this point point. and as far as the liver I have elevated liver enzymes I have never been a drinker in my whole life, so I have what they call fatty liver, which is really something that occurs on people who drink a lot. And so this may be something that I possibly inherit from my family, although I don't have any um, data to support that as far as family history. But at any rate, um, everything went well yesterday, got all the tests done, and so... I am now home again and doing videos. Now this is going to be kind of a rant because I just read a really ridiculous uh, post by an individual that owns a Pro 100. And these Pro 100s are really popular so there's a lot of traffic on this particular printer model. Here's what happened. This poor guy went ahead and I don't know what he's thinking even though I've been talking about this forever. Canon printers are not good candidates for continuous ink systems. They really are not. He fell for it. He was looking on eBay and landed on some Chinese company and in the quest to print as cheaply as possible went ahead and bought a sys with some cheap Chinese inks that are probably not even Canon compatible and installed them on his printer and the poor guy didn't even use his original cards which is a no-no because the Pro 100 comes with setup cards that you must use okay you must use them do not think you're gonna go ahead and get away with you know buying refillables or whatever the case may be and installing them at first when you initiate your Canon Pro 100 you must use those setup cards there is data in those chips that gets installed more or less into the printer firmware so after that you can run whatever you wish if you want to go the route of a sys so be it that's that's you're doing that on, at your own accord and you are responsible for the damage you will cause on that printer so here's the short story after about a few days of it running well according to him He's now getting the 19 blinking lights syndrome, meaning nothing is recognized. He took the sys out and installed the original cards, which is does no good now because you already you already did the uh, evil deed, and so he still has the 19 blinking lights, which means something is seriously wrong with the printer. So he goes on Craigslist and finds yet another Pro 100 goes and buys it and this time he does install the original carts but then as soon as one of them started running out he removes the whole set and reinstalls that stupid sys and I'm sorry but it's a ridiculous idea within about two or three days of use 19 blinking lights again alright so he basically killed that printer as well believe it or not you know, fool me once, fool me twice, doesn't really work with him. He is looking for yet a third Pro 100 on Craigslist. And this time he might actually follow the advice of everyone, which is to use the inks, and as they start getting low, convert them. And, you know, in the North American continent, the only source for the Pro 100 is PrecisionColors.com. If you guys know of any other source, please let me know. But at this point, that's the only one I know about and recommend. 
and it's not that I'm trying to get you know business for him or he's giving me you know a little bit of a payout actually no it's just a sincere recommendation in my for my part because that's what works for me so now after the third printer he's now finally going to consider to simply do what is recommended to do you have two choices you either run nothing but OEM at hundred and fifteen dollars per set okay and that's what it costs whether you pay fifty dollars for the printer or not it costs hundred and fifteen so dollars per set of OEM inks so now he's actually finally thinking about just using the carts and refill them with proper ink in a resetter from red setter wow so I told him I warned him I'm going to yell at you and I didn't gave him and you know what he had coming in a nice way tough love types type uh, response from me and I hope it finally sinks into into his head and it's no you know no fault of his own this is what a lot of people think they can get away with and unfortunately yeah you can do that on an Epson printer because it's a lot more forgiving but not Canon's just the way the card just barely just touches the the actual seal on the printhead and so you just basically are passive passively touching the contact of the actual input seal on the printhead for that particular color even though you're clicking the card in place it's just touching by contact there is no ink stem entering an o-ring like on an Epson printer that is superior seal and a lot more control a lot more um, precise and reliable uh, way of connecting a card to a printer I don't know why Canon does it this way but basically that kind of disqualifies it from having uh, the opportunity to be used uh, with a sys or any other third-party option like refillables or even compatible carts they're just not as reliable as OEM so please you guys if you are considering assist just don't do it really don't do it I know it's it sounds too good to be true and they make it sound like it's too good to be true but as they say if it's too good to be true it probably is so don't do it just refill your original cards get yourself a red setter resetter from precision colors get their inks and go to town that's what I do my printer is working flawlessly my prints are beautiful as you have seen them in you know at this point with precision colors custom profiles which are free and in five different versions D50 D65 and I think it's warm fluorescent and cool fluorescent and tungsten so you cannot go wrong whatever uh, viewing condition those prints that you generate are going to be viewed in they provide you with a profile for that and it's customized for their inks in the Pro 100 as well as other printer models in just a ton of different papers and consider the fact that a custom profile will cost you from $25 to $50 a piece and you're getting these for free so go ahead and consider that third-party ink option in the way of refilling and resetting your Pro 100 and forget about this don't 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 do it please do yourself a favor don't even consider it you'll be grateful you didn't alright so please if you like like it if you would like to subscribe go ahead and do so I really really appreciate your support and share as much as you like and so until the next time happy printing bye bye next is this baby right here okay so I can't wait to set it up so until the next time happy printing and bye bye